Okay, today I'm going to be crushing Starburst. Okay, so here's what I'm going to try to do. So I wanna see how many layers of Starburst I can get. So I'm gonna stack them up, I'm gonna squish them, but I'm not gonna squish it all the way so that it all just squishes out and it's, there's nothing left. I'm gonna squish it down as far as I think will be right so that I can fold it on top of each other and then squish it again. Okay, Starburst crushed with a hydraulic press. Three, two, one. Okay, there's one crush. Now I'm going to fold it over. Let's fold it twice. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and let's do one more fold. Okay, and this is our final product. Okay, so here's what the end looks like. On the edges is where you can actually see the layers. So look right here, you can see one, two, three, four, at least four layers of yellow. Okay, so I folded it in total four times, so how many red layers should there be? There should be two to the end, of each color in here, where N is the number of folds. In total, I folded it four times. So that's uh, two to the fourth equals 16. So there's really 16 layers of red in here, although it didn't really work out that way because it kind of got squished to the side. So you can see some of the layers there. There should be 16 layers of red, 16 layers of yellow, 16 pink, and 16 orange. But what really happens when you mix stuff like that is that it's not consistently the same thickness and so it eventually just gets mixed together. And if I were to do it a, full, a few more times, it would eventually just become this kind of brown mass that you couldn't even see individual layers. So that's why I stopped at only four folds. So what's cool about this, I'm sure you've heard the myth that you can't fold paper more than eight times. And that actually was due to a mathematical problem, not due to not having enough force to fold the paper. But what's interesting is this girl named Brittany, she was in high school and she actually proved it wrong that you can fold paper more than eight times. So here's a cool equation for you guys. This is the width needed to fold a piece of paper n times. So width equals pi times t to the two, three times n minus one over two. So using this, you can calculate how big a piece of paper you would need to fold it n times. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of Hydraulic Press Action. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit subscribe and like this video, comment in the comment section with what you'd like to see get crushed next time, and I'll see you next time.